can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing. Take me for granted, and you know I'm leaving. I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving. I could take this crap from seeing to believing. I ain't gonna give up Got too little time, I'ma live up Head down, push forward through the tough times Cause anything worth doing is a tough climb And I ain't gonna give up Got too little time, I'ma live up Hey everybody uh, I'm going to the archery range today uh, Finishing up from that arrow build Now I'm gonna go sight in I actually ended up changing the veins um, that I'm using. I'm using the boning heat veins. I was having some adherence issues and uh, didn't have enough to get the full dozen of those pro tracker veins after I was having some adherence issues after I figured out the problem. So I've got the boning heat veins on. Only difference is these heat veins total arrow weight make it about two grains lighter. Um, but we're gonna go get sighted in at the very least, get 20, 30, 40 set. I set a reservation for the indoor range at the center just to make sure that there's no wind or anything so I know that I'm getting sighted in uh, perfectly. Shooting through the chronograph with this setup, I have the 62 grain bad boys. Puts me about 275 feet per second, which is to me a little bit better. So that's what I'm gonna run with this season, I think. I did bring all of them, so if I have time, I will toy around with the 100s and the 125s and see how they group at 20 and 30 yards. But we'll see. I'm going to go meet up with Jake. Um, he's also just going to verify his pins are all set, and we'll go from there. All right, you guys, made it. New arrows, Pro Tracker 3K Carbon Weave. Um, these do have, like I said, those 62 grain collars on them. So we're gonna get sighted in. At the very least, get my pin set right now. So 20, 30, 40, and then we'll work on the sight tape. But if we have time, we will play around with the other weights as well. First shots with the new bad boys. So it goes. Starting at 20, we'll set that and then we're going back. there's any drop or change from my previous arrows those black eagles to these they look like they're hitting where I'm aiming my dot did fall off so we'll go and fix that um, okay so I put a pin in that sticker so it can't fall again so loose again hit a little high of where I was aiming, which is interesting since these are a little heavier. Oh. 
This is first at 20. So we are hitting just a little bit high, but grouping is pretty good for 20. I don't want to shoot more than two arrows at a time, so I don't want to hurt anything. We fixed the sight. We brought the pin up a little bit and the whole sight housing to the right. We'll do a second round. Third round shooting at 20 yards. This arrow right here, I actually kind of pulled it a little bit. I could feel it in the shot that I actually pulled, so it pulled right. But these other two I was super happy with. Um, so we're gonna move out to 30 yards and set that pin up now. So I moved to 30 yards, first round. Still pulled it a little right, but up and down is perfect. First round at 30. Like I said, first one I did kind of pull it a little right, but my up and downs are honestly pretty good. This was my third shot I felt the best on. So I actually don't think I'm gonna to touch anything. I think I'm gonna to go to 40, mess around with that, and then make sure I'm feeling good and uh, before the hunt at my 20 and 30. And then I might push her out to 60 and just see what the sight tape's doing. All right, I'm waiting on Jake to go fix his target. I'm really surprised with these arrows. I haven't had to change anything for the most part with my pins i've had to go up or down with anything what was surprising is the fact that i actually had to raise up my 20 yard pin but my 30s hitting true so now we're at 40 and we're going to see what that does for us okay so 40 has a little bit of drop not a lot like maybe two, two and a half inches. We'll shoot one more to verify and then we'll fix that pin. We fix that pin. That bottom pin is pretty much bottomed out, which is great when you're sliding out to distance. You can really focus on your pin and the level at the same time. So if that has any more drop it needs, we'll have to move the whole site housing and then fix the 20 and 30 pin. I moved it back uh, from the line. We're at 57 yards. It's the absolute furthest you can get on this side. The other side you can get um, almost 80 yards. Everything was just booked on that side, so we're over here at 57. I need a new sight tape. I think I'm shooting about 275 feet per second, so I got my pin currently at 65. We're gonna see where that hits and try and figure it out after that. Okay, so that was really high. So we're gonna put her on 60. So now I've set it at 60 yards and we'll see. I think that's just like an inch or two high. Okay, that's still high. So we're going to put that at 57. Let's see what that does. Okay. 
So right now I hit pretty true at 57 on the sight tape. So I'm just gonna keep shooting it at 57 to make sure that's where it wants to be. So we're set with the sight tape. Again, that's 57 yards. Just one last shot to make sure we're good. We're gonna move to like 48 or something just to really start marking the sight tape and get a accurate sight tape. This is gonna be my last shot. We're gonna shoot as far as we can on this range, which is 57. Final shot. All right, guys, I was kind of nervous leading into today, going and sighting in those new arrows. I thought I was going to leave super frustrated and worried, but I'm actually surprisingly confident. I had to do just a few touches for my 40 yards, and then I obviously have to get a new sight tape on my bow, but I marked a couple things on the sight tape, so I feel pretty great for this setup. Tomorrow we're shooting broadheads. Um, if I remember, I'll get some footage of that and add it to this video. If not, just know that everything went well. And then next weekend's the hunt, so I'll be out there uh, for about nine days total. Um, and hopefully we can get a buck down. Um, but I'll try and film all that and bring you guys along with us. Um, if you like that, let me know. As always, make sure you're subscribed, you like, you comment, you tell your friends. Thank you so much for watching. This is kind of a weird thing for me. I really have to just like keep doing this more and more and get used to looking at the camera, not looking at myself and not being so awkward. I think the more I do this, the more comfortable I'll be and the more confident I'll get. But thank you again for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting. Please tell your friends, make sure you're subscribed keep an eye out. I feel like we're just getting better and better and we're really growing and we're going to have a lot of great content this next year. So stay tuned.